Oh, I see. This is a physics. Yeah, this one's a physics one. Sometimes they do that to you. They just try to fool you. You know what I mean? They just try to fool you like that. That's what I love about this game is... Uh, so a lot of puzzle games like this, something that most of them don't do, but occasionally the, some will make a mistake and they'll, it, they'll introduce a mechanic that has not been in the rest of the game. And it, it, it comes across as annoying because it's like, well, how was I supposed to know that whenever you're establishing the rules to me right throughout the game you're establishing the rule set but occasionally a game will then just throw a random one in and it's not anywhere else in the game and it just feels inconsistent enough to the point where it's annoying this game it introduces the physics aspect of the game to you at a, uh, for the puzzles later on right but what's so cool about it is you can't complain and you don't feel stupid that you didn't notice it right away because throughout the entirety of the game, you're looking at these physics, right? Like you are, you're, you're interacting with them like this, you know, like in Talos principle, when you pick up one of the, I'm going to call it puzzle assets, when you put it on the ground, it just stays on the ground. You can't knock it over or none of that shit. In this game, you've been using these cubes in the beginning for like the first couple chapters, and then it, out of nowhere, it throws a puzzle at you where you need to like stack these up to block a camera, you know. And then it, whenever that I, it's it's like it's like they implanted the concept in your subconscious a little bit early on, without you fully, you know, without it being right in your face. So whenever you come to that realization on your own, it really is like that aha moment. And then it just makes you have a, I don't know, for me, it's like whenever I uh, that that happened, I was just like, okay, whoever designed this shit is a genius. You know, like it's like, it really, it really, it's just good game design. You know what I mean? Like there's, a, there's layers of thinking behind it and it doesn't make you feel like an idiot. You know, there are very few games nowadays. I mean, like, I think this is more a case for like older titles where it's like, well, shit, I wouldn't have expected to do that. You know what I mean? That's not something, that's not a core uh, tool or, or puzzle asset or concept that they've taught in the uh, entirety of the game. So it, it just makes you feel stupid. And I don't, you know, nobody wants to fucking play a video game and feel stupid. The whole point of games like this, I feel, are to like make the player feel smart, but only if they're they're using their lateral thinking skill you know and and uh, that must be a challenging process in the development cycle but anyway just had to get that out there i thought that was uh that's been on my mind and th this game just does that on a couple different levels and really really does it for me